In Nepal we have made huge progress with health goals and making sure children survive at birth and get through the first 10 years of life. But there's about 3 million individuals in Nepal who reach the age of 10 and then suddenly they disappear from the program radar screen and development planners thinking. These are 3 million adolescent girls. 13-year-old Nirmala Nepali remembers very little of her childhood. In fact, in her young life, she has barely experienced childhood at all. Her parents died of AIDS when she was small and left Nirmala to take care of two toddlers. She has worked from dawn until dark her entire life, caring for her younger sister Sita, now nine, and brother Suresh, eight. I was seven when my parents died, and since then I've been taking care of my brother and sister. I do a lot of work. I cut firewood and take it to the market. I cook, I wash clothes, and send my brother and sister to school. Because of her crushing workload, Nirmala has never spent a day in school. Her fondest dream is for an education. If I could study, when I grow up, I would have a name. I would be someone. But there's so much work. Should I go to school or go to work? I mean, I need to get food. If I didn't provide food, we would all go hungry. One of the biggest threats to Nepal's children is malnutrition. Over half of the country's children are chronically malnourished, and those in child-headed households who must fend for themselves are the most vulnerable. In order to ensure that the children are not uh, malnourished, UNICEF provides nutrition support in the form of Unimix, which is a fortified flour that contains soy, um, corn, and wheat. In addition to providing life-saving nutrition, UNICEF trains local female community leaders to serve as protective mentors for girls like Nirmala. Education is a critical path out of the shackles of poverty, so UNICEF also provides learning materials to the family so that Nirmala's siblings Sita and Suresh have everything they need to go to school and learn. But Nirmala wants and deserves an education too. Nirmala is a special kid. She's got so much potential. All she needs is to go to school, and she's dying to go to school. She needs protection, she needs health care, she needs nutritional support, and we need resources to assure that children like Nirmala are not forgotten. Girls like Nirmala could have a bright future, but more support is needed if they are to reach their potential. Girl power can really transform the power because when we give girls a good education, they can begin to be in control of their lives. The girls' education is a really sound investment. By the time they become mums, they can themselves produce healthy children. They can give their children really good nutrition. They can then transmit that from generation to generation. So it's not just an investment now, it's an investment that lasts you from generation to generation to generation.